Welcome to the training video of the McCurdy's Guard Post Simulation application. Here you will learn how to build a McCurdy's Guard Post and how to use the simulator. In this video we will be constructing Guard Post B. However, these general instructions will apply to all Guard Post structures. You start off with a 2x1 frame in its collapsed position. The latch on the 2x1 frame is highlighted in green for identification, as will every part that you will need to click on. Always start your guard post with the 2x1 frames that will form the front wall. Position the 2x1 frame with the latch and the gate toggles facing the inside of the guard post. Pull back on the latch to unfold the 2x1 frame. Next, open the two side gates. Then turn the gate toggles to lock the side gates into place. Before we continue with the guard posts, we'll show you the tools and options you have available in the simulation. Under the Sessions menu, you can either restart your session, which will take you back to the beginning of the guard post you are working on, or you can exit the simulation, which will take you back to the title screen. The Jump To menu will let you jump ahead in your building to any part of the guard post. To walk around the simulation, refer to the navigation panel. Press and hold W to walk forward, S to walk backwards, A to walk left, and D to walk right. C will allow you to crouch down, and holding the shift button along with any of these keys will allow you to run in the corresponding direction. Use the left button to select items as we did earlier while unfolding the 2x1 frame, and use the right mouse button to turn. Using the A or D key together with the right mouse button in the opposite direction will allow you to walk around an object while still looking at it. On the right is your inventory panel. This shows you how many of which part you have available for your guard post. You also have an inspect button on each item to get more information on that piece. This will show you an image of the item, the name, part number, the weight of the piece, and how many people should be used to lift the piece. Lastly, you have an instruction panel which tells you what to do next. Let's go back to building the guard post. Once the 2x frame is unfolded, the next step is to install sandbags. It is important that the hooks on the sandbag go into the holes on the top gate. Do not hook them on top of the top gate. Once the sandbag is in place, fill it with sand. You may find it easier to install the sandbags once you have two 2x1 frames placed together. The bags can be installed by either stuffing them in between the side gate and top gate, or by opening the side gates and bringing the sandbag in from the side. Now we'll move on to the second 2x1 frame by following the same previous steps. However, this time, before we install the sandbag, we'll attach the two 2x1 frames together with 3 inch connector pins. Whenever you connect two guard post frame pieces together, it is important to connect the new piece with at least four connector pins. Now that these two 2x1 frames are connected, we can continue with the sandbag installation. Repeat the above steps until the entire front wall of the 2x1 frames are complete. Next, we will install the 1x1 frames, which will go on top of the 2x1 frames. To unfold the 1x1 frame, remove the lock pin that holds the top plate and the side frame together. Open the side gates and lock them into place with the gate toggles. Using at least four connector pins, connect the 1x1 frame to the 2x1 frame. Repeat this process to install the second 1x1 frame. Since the 1x1 frame is being connected to both the 2x1 frame and the adjacent 1x1 frame, be sure to use four connector pins for both. So that's eight connector pins in total. Repeat this process until the entire front wall of the guard post is complete. Next up is the corner frames. You'll notice that there is one long side and two short sides. Be sure the long side is facing out. To unfold the corner frame, remove the connector pin that holds the two side frames together. The blocks on the side frames should be perpendicular to each other. Use four connector pins to attach the corner frame to the 2x1 frame. In the back of the frame, the pins should go through the blocks for a better connection. Repeat the previous steps to install the second corner frame.
Here you only need to use two connector pins to attach it to the first corner frame, but still use four connector pins to connect it to the adjacent 2x1 frame. Repeat this process until the corner frames are three high on each side of your front wall. Now you can repeat these same steps to build the framework for the right wall. When installing the 2x1 frame to the two adjacent corner frames, be sure to use 8 pins since you're connecting it to two separate frame pieces. Also be sure your pins go through the blocks on the corner frames. Once the right wall framework is complete, you can build the back wall in the same manner. Note that the roof piece with the opening is not symmetrical, so you have to build the back wall off of the right wall. It will not work if the back wall is built off the left wall. The back wall framework is completed with a row of 2x1 frames that is one less than the front wall. For this guard post B, there is a row of four 2x1 frames in the front wall and only three 2x1 frames in the back wall. With the back wall framework complete, you are ready to construct the left wall. The left wall is finished by connecting three corner frames to the 2x1 and 1x1 framework. These corner frames are used to help support the roof. Now your framework is complete and you are ready to install the armor panels. To install the armor panels, you must start at the bottom left of your framework and work your way up and to the right. After you hang the armor panel on the framework, be sure to lock it into place by turning the lock pins from the vertical position to the horizontal position. The next panel is done the same way. Since the top corner of the framework is not backed by the sandbags, use the double armor panel here. Continue wrapping the exterior framework with the armor panels. After the exterior armor panels are installed, you are ready to install the gun ports. Install the gun ports in the same manner as the armor panels by hanging them on the pegs in the framework, locking the pins into place and work left to right. To open and close the gun ports, lift the handles upwards and swing it open towards you. When closing the gun port, be sure the handle slides back into its lock. Install the interior armor panels to the back of the 2x1 frames by again starting at the bottom left and working your way up and to the right. Be sure to lock the pins into place as you go. When complete, you are ready to install the first roof section. Start the roof section that does not have the opening. Use four people to place it on top of the framework farthest from the guard post opening. This time, use the 2-inch connector pins to connect the roof to the framework. Be sure to use at least two pins on the front wall, two pins on the right wall, and two pins on the back wall. Again, using four people, place the other roof section on the framework lining up the roof opening to the guard post opening. And again, use at least two of the 2-inch connector pins on the front wall, two pins on the left wall, and two pins on the back wall. The final step to the guard post is to connect the two roof sections together. Use at least four of the 3-inch connector pins to do this. Congratulations! You have now completed your guard post structure. Remember to always start with the front wall, making sure the gate toggles are facing inward. Always use at least four connector pins to attach two framework pieces together. If your guard post has a back wall, be sure to connect the back wall to the right wall. Always install the armor plates up and to the right, making sure the lock pins are horizontal as you go. 
and always be sure the handle on the gun ports slide back into their locks when closed. Thank you for using McCurdy's Guard Post, and as always, thank you for your service.